Welcome to Alta High School for this edition of High School Rewind. Coming to you from Douglas Anderson Field as the Alta Hawks prepare to welcome in the 3AA Dixie Flyers. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Excited for this matchup coming up for you here tonight on High School Rewind. These two teams met for the first time ever last season. It was a victory for the Dixie Flyers, 45-13 to over the Alta Hawks. They got out to a 38-0 lead at the break and they would cruise past the Hawks. They would make it all the way to the 3AA state championship game before losing to the Logan Grizzlies. This is a team that returns a number of players off last year's squad, but most of that offense is done and graduated. New quarterback this year, new running back this year in Barbin and uh, Aquin. And then, but returning defensively, they got a number of players, including Malachi, Fakahua, watch out for this kid. He is a brainiac. He is a middle linebacker that terrorizes defenses. He looks to lead the way defensively for the Dixie Flyers. They did a great job defensively against Alta last year. They're going to have to have a big effort here tonight. And one other name is Wilger, the safety. Watch out for him. Also a returning starter. And he is second on the team in tackles. As we switch sides and introduce the Alta Hawks, they come in 2-0 and on the season, coming off a shellacking of the Hillcrest Huskies, 67-26. It was a game that you probably heard of. Josh Davis went off 444 total yards, 200 yards rushing, three touchdowns on eight carries. Yikes, what a night for the senior Josh Davis. He led the state in rushing yardage and rushing touchdowns last season, and he's off to a great start here in 2016. They've got a fantastic quarterback in Will Dana. His first season starting for the Alta Hawks, and in just two games, seven touchdowns, no interceptions. Will Dana has been fantastic leading this very potent Alta Hawk offense. Defensively, they have a number of players to account for, including Mitch Medina, one of the underrated linebackers in the state, MJ Tafisi. Watch out for him. He leads the team in tackles. And then the ever so roaming safety, Tyler Hill. Watch out for this kid. He has an interception, also has four pass deflections. He is the leader of the secondary for this very talented out the Hawks squad. The Hawks are 2-0 undefeated on the season. The Dixie Flyers 0-2 looking for their first victory here on the road at Alta High School. We have kickoff coming up for you shortly here on High School Rewind. Ready to kick off here from Alta High School. It will be Thane Reed, and this is a little pooch kick and a good idea here from the Flyers. It's picked up by Afu on that far sideline. He is up to the 35-yard line before being tackled. So after the penalty on the kickoff, a personal foul against Alta, first and 10 from their own 20, Dana in the pistol. That snap goes right through his hands. He's going to have to eat this back at the 5 or 6-yard line. A big miscue there for the Hawks on, on their first play from the line of scrimmage. Second down, about 23 yards to go. They give this to Davis. Big number 20 for the Hawks. We'll call his name multiple times tonight. And on the tackle was Malachi Fakahua. Talked about him in our open. Third down and 12 after a Dixie penalty. This ball thrown, caught over the middle. And that is Zach Ingstrom with the first down, but penalty flags back. And guess what? Talk about redemption. Fisher drawing the hold. So after the hold, third down and about 23 yards to go, it's a screen set up, Landon Maxfield trying to turn the field, cuts inside and brought down there by Jason Longmore, the senior linebacker, as he's close to the original line of scrimmage and it will bring up a fourth down for Alta. We'll start off in the shotgun, will the Dixie Flyers see Barbin? And alongside him is Ammon Aquin. Barbin hands off on the sweep. A good pursuit by this out to defense taking him down was L London Rockwood. There's no gain, a loss of one on the run. Second down and 11 for the Flyers. Pistol formation. That is Nyberg coming across in motion. They give off to Aquin. That ball came out right where Aquin was. I don't know if he got on it or if Alta did. It looked like Aquin was able to recover it. Three receivers to the bottom of the screen. Barbin looking to throw, does so quickly. That ball caught right at midfield and getting out of bounds. I think it was Nate, Ma no, it was Josh Topham. My apologies, the senior receiver will pick up the first down for Dixie. On first and 10, again the pistol. It's Aquin up the middle, still on his feet. Aquin is tripped up at the 40. He'll pick up 11 yards and maybe a touchdown saving tackle made that time by Drew Pan. First down, and that ball again up the middle with Aquin. 
He'll pick up a pair before being brought down by Mitch Medina, that linebacker we highlighted earlier. Second and eight. And it is on the sweep. Really a read play there given off to Nyberg. Only a yard gain for the Flyers. Two backs for Barbin on third down. Seven yards to go for the Flyers. Barbin looking to throw quickly. That ball a little too high. Was looking the way of Topham again on the slant. Had him open, but couldn't connect. And Dixie will come out to punt. Fourth down, Davis back to receive this punt. Boy, that one just barely missed. Davis lets it take a hop, and it's kept in right at the one. What a great job by this coverage team of the Flyers. And a late penalty flag thrown in on the play as Medina looking to get an explanation from the official. And again, we see that penalty bug early, early here against the Hawks. So look at where that ball is spotted. Back on the goal line. First down after the incredible punt for the Hawks. It's Davis. He'll break the goal line. Is met there by Peyton Wilgar, the junior. Pistol formation. Now they're going to throw quickly. And that ball incomplete. Boy, right in the hands of Engstrom. And he couldn't bring it in. Dana to throw on third down. Pressure coming from behind. He gets it away. That ball caught right at the 14. And that's going to be good for our first down. It was completed to London Rockwood. First down, handoff to Josh Davis, looking to his right, cuts back in as a penalty flag comes in. Davis will pick up 11 yards on the carry. Have a feeling that probably will not stand. So after the holding penalty, first and 15, they give to Davis. He tries that left side, is bottled up quickly by the end, Fisher, who's had a good start to this contest. Davis ahead to the 12 yard line, a pickup of four. Second down and 12, Dana to throw, surveying. He has an opportunity to run it. Malachi coming down on him as Dana will pick up two yards and get back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and 10 to go for the Hawks on a drive that started inside their own one. Over the middle, that ball caught by Engstrom. Looking to turn it back inside. Engstrom slips through a tackle across midfield inside the 40 and tackle out of bounds at the 36 yard line. And what a run after the catch by Zach Engstrom. He was eventually forced down by Tyler Mam Mamua, excuse me. Mamua with the tackle at the 36. A big gain on third down for this out the Hawk offense. Dana, a give. To Angstrom up the middle. He'll get to the 30-yard line before being brought down by a couple flyers, including Pulsifer. Dana under center on second down. Gives to Davis. He's inside the 30 to the 26. Going to be close to that first down. On first down. And it's Afu with the carry. Down to about the 23-yard line. Second down, and that snap is bobbled. Davis able to get on it quickly before Pulsifer could for the flyers. And... Alta will retain the possession, bringing up a third and really long. Three and a half minutes to play here in the first quarter. Dana, third and 12, looking over the middle, and that ball broken up, nearly intercepted. Again, that was Mamua with the deflection, and it will bring up a fourth down for Dixie. Alta going to stay on the field here. Fourth down and 12. Dana to throw that ball. Not close to his receiver. Fisher got on him. And the Dixie Flyer defense makes the hold. Alta turns over on downs. Three receivers to the top of the screen as Dixie takes over on downs back at their own 28-yard line. This give going nowhere. Mitch Medina bursting through and dropping Dixie for a loss on the play. Second and 12. And how about this? Four receivers to the bottom of the screen for the Flyers. Barbin will throw this out quickly. Caught at about the 24-yard line up to the 30 as Max Brown with the reception for Dixie, picking up about four. Third down and eight for Barbin. Coming across the formation is Nyberg. Barbin looking for somewhere to go, trying to loft this over the D, and it's caught. What a catch brought in by Topham across midfield to the 46. First down for Dixie. First down for the Flyers at the 46. 
And Alta coming with the blitz. Ball thrown and it's caught. Down to the 31-yard line, and a great read that time by Barbin, able to get it to Nyberg as he takes it to the 31-yard line. Approaching one minute left here in our opening quarter, pistol formation for the Flyers, pitched back. Ah, Quinn trying to get outside, inside the 25, and brought down at about the 23-yard line. Good run for Ah, Quinn that time as he picks up about eight yards. Second down and two yards to go. Barbin surveying. Aquin to his left, two receivers each side. Throws this quickly, caught to the 18 yard line, goes Hobbs Nygren, the 5'9 junior, and he will have the first down for the Flyers. Pistol formation on first and 10 for the Flyers inside of 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. It's Aquin through the line and tackled down at the 10. A couple Hawks there, including Alsop. A pickup of nine for the sophomore, Ammon Aquin. Second down, one yard to go for the Flyers as we start the second quarter. Barbin going to tuck this and run inside the five, and it will set up a first and goal for the Flyers. First and goal. It does go to Aquin into the end zone. Touchdown, Dixie. Ammon Aquin with his first touchdown of the season coming from four yards out, and the Flyers take the early lead. Here in the second quarter, six to nothing over Alta. On first down, Afu the back. Davis comes across in motion. They give it to him, trying to stretch his outside. Look at that flyer defense. Nowhere to go for Josh Davis. Davis will line up in the backfield here on second down. It's a screen caught by Angstrom, turning up field, and a good play there as Angstrom ahead for a pickup of eight. Fakahua, an intelligent kid, he's had conversations with MIT. In fact, in the conversation, they let him know, hey, we have a football program here. He's a 4.0 student. Third down and short, flared out. Angstrom across the 40, spins off, still on his feet. Angstrom shielding Dixie Flyers and pushed out of bounds inside the 45. What a job by Zach Angstrom as Mamiya came over, and Angstrom was just like, now, now get off me. A big first down for the Hawks. First down. Thrown out to Rockwood, looking for some blocking. He'll pick up about four yards on the play. Second down and six. Thrown near side. And down at the 35 is Jaden Russell, the senior receiver, for a pickup of three. Dixie showing blitz up the middle. They give it to Davis. He's got the first down. And he's brought down at the 30. A pickup of five for Josh Davis. Dana, the pump fake, dialing up deep, and that ball was a little overthrown, was looking the way of Harrison as it falls incomplete. Eye formation on second and 10. Davis with the straight carry, and he fumbled the ball. It's loose, and I think the Flyers have it. They do. Dixie comes up with the turnover, and it's Buddy Stevenson. I believe it's Magale Stevenson, but he goes by Buddy, the junior linebacker, comes up with a fumble recovery and unofficially the first turnover of the year by the Alta Hawks. So after the turnover, the Flyers come out on their own 26-yard line. They give the ball off. It's Aquin ahead, picking up five, six yards on the carry. On second down. Ball thrown out quickly, caught, looking upfield. A nice job there by Nygren as he's up to the 41-yard line. Nyberg, excuse me, up to the 41-yard line. Again, two backs alongside Barbin here on first down for the Flyers. Hand this off, Aquin, and not much room there. There's that defensive front as Diamond Famafoy, the sophomore, able to get in there and limit the game to a pickup of only a yard. Pressure coming, Hola was able to get there. Dials one up deep, and guess who again? Josh Topham coming up with the big reception on second and nine, and Dixie going over the top again. After the flyer penalty, second down, 14 yards to go. Aquin to the right of Barbin, two receivers each side. No pressure from Alta, this ball thrown out, and Topham couldn't make the catch. 
as Jacob Barton facing a third and 14. He keeps it, has some time, now stepping up, and Tafisi brings him down. Barbin will pick up a yard, but a great job there by MJ Tafisi staying home and limiting the gain. It'll bring up a fourth down and a punting situation for the Flyers. On first down, the give up the middle with Davis. Not much room there as he'll pick up about five yards on the carry. And that ended up being better than I initially thought it was. Third down, one yard to go. Davis again on the carry, and he's through the hole. Josh Davis up to the 31-yard line, and a big run there by Davis. A nice tackle made by Pulsifer's Afu. The big fullback comes up limping. First down after the Davis carry. Dana looking to throw, dialing one up deep, and that ball just in front of the receiver, Maxfield, and he may have laid up a step when he saw the coverage over the top. Dana on second down, going to give this off to Davis. He's looking for a hole and still able to find a couple yards as Mamiya, the senior safety, credited with the tackle. Afu back out there, good sign for the Alta offense. Third and seven, a play action. Dana rolling to his right. He's got a man down the field looking, and that ball's complete. Caught by MJ Tafisi and tackled down at the 32-yard line by Wilgar. And boy, Tafisi a little slow to get up as Wilgar threw him to the turf hard. First down for the Hawks. It's Davis again looking up the middle, pick up there of four yards as in on the tackle was Fisher for the Flyers. Second down and seven. Davis on the carry and he's ahead for a pickup of three as he's getting tackled there. Third down and four, Davis with the carry and he's tripped up. What a great job and guess who? It is Fakahua credited with the tackle. Fourth and three, pistol formation. Dana throws out quickly and nowhere to go. A great job of playing that by Wilgar, the safety. You're not going to fool him on that one. Tackling Rockwood right at the point of the catch, and Alta will turn it over on downs once again. Taking his time, play clock inside of five seconds. Pressure coming up the middle, gets rid of it quickly, caught by Topham, and out of bounds after picking up about five yards, although a penalty flag is in on the play here. First and 25 for the Flyers after the penalty. Barbin in the shotgun as Medina backs out of the blitz. Pressure coming. Barbin, he's going to go down. Afu gets him. That's a great rush put on by Balaau. Second down and 28 for the Flyers. Aquin the back, and they don't run it. Pressure coming again. That ball deflected, and it's caught by one of the linemen. And a good job. I couldn't see who got the paw out there. I think it might have been... Hola, he was congratulated by Famafoy. Third down and 28 yards to go. I think it's closer to 29. Four-man rush. Boy, Barbin got hit. This ball thrown up, and it's intercepted. Tyler Hill with his second NIT of the season. And a big turnover. Great field position for the Alta Hawks coming out. Pistol formation on first down. Dana to throw that ball caught by Harrison. Slips through a tackle inside the 30 to the 25 and tackled at the 22-yard line. As a couple flyers got there, Staley as well as Mamiya. Second down and 10. I formation again a bad snap and Dana able to jump on it. He'll lose two yards on the play and a timeout taken here by Alta. Third and 12. Dana going deep and that ball intercepted. Boy, a couple of Hawks there and that was one that Harrison was there and over the top was Rockwood. And it's a big pick made by the Flyers. I think it was Wilgar once again. First down for the Flyers after the interception. 1-11 left here in the opening half. The Flyers lead 7-0. This ball tucked as Barbin didn't have the reads he's like, he liked. He's ahead for a pickup of five. On second down, Barbin. Only a three-man rush here by the Hawks. Throwing, and that ball caught right at the sticks. 
And it is caught by Topham as Alsop there to make the tackle. 38 seconds left here in the opening half. Barbin. Pressure coming. Again, he'll step up as a penalty flag comes in. This most likely coming back. Barbin's going to be brought down by Alsop after picking up five yards, and we'll sort out the flag. They'll have to take a snap, but it can really come at any time. About a four-second differential. Play clock down to six. On first down, they hand the ball off. It is Nyberg. Another penalty flag comes in as he gets out of bounds with 1.6 left. Barbin, take the knee. That'll do it. The Dixie Flyers, they shut out Alta in the game last year in St. George. This year it's a little closer, but they still have the lead 7-0. They lead the Hawks here at the break. First down for the Flyers, and it's over the middle, wide open. Will they catch him? It's Hobbs Nyberg. No, they won't. Touchdown, Dixie. What a play call from the Flyers. A 76-yard touchdown pass from Barbin, Barbin to Nyberg. And the Dixie Flyers double their lead immediately out of the gates here at halftime. First possession for the Hawks here in the second half. It's a handoff to Davis looking up the middle. And he'll pick up about four yards on the dive. So after the penalty, second down and 12 for the Alta Hawks. Dana looking to throw, has the pocket thrown outside. That ball caught. And a nice tackle made immediately there by Famui. First down for the Hawks right at midfield. Five receiver set. Dana looking to throw. That ball caught by Engstrom. And once again, Engstrom with a short pickup of three. Eye formation on second and seven. And a give to Davis. Through the line of scrimmage, around, has one man to beat. Davis turns in, and he's knocked down inside the 30. A touchdown saving tackle by Peyton Wilgar. Afu and Davis in the backfield on second down. Dana going deep, has a man, and that ball broken up. Dana was looking for Parker Nielsen, and it was once again Faumui, the junior corner in coverage, there to break up the play. Third down and eight for Will Dana. Pressure around the edge, Dana steps up. Beautiful pocket presence by Will Dana, and that ball right on target. Caught at the 10-yard line by Landon Maxfield, and a first down for the Alta Hawks. Excuse me, at the 14, I think I said the 10, right at the 14. Pistol formation on first down, Dana surveying. Looking end zone, caught, touchdown Alta. A 14-yard touchdown pass from Dana to London Rockwood, and the Alta Hawks are on the scoreboard with 8.30 left to play here in the third quarter. 8.22 to play here in the third quarter. Dixie ball on the 34-yard line, and it's Barbin with two backs. Option play pitches back to Aquin, and he will get out of bounds. Medina there to push him out of bounds. First and 10 for Dixie, three receivers to the bottom of the screen. That ball was deflected, and speaking of Tafisi, I think he got a piece of that one. Big number 44 with the pass breakup. Third down and 10 for the Flyers. Again, three receivers to the bottom of the screen. Barbin looking to throw, flails this out to Aquin. He's hit immediately and tackled after a pickup of four yards. First down for the Hawks, Dana under center from their own 44-yard line after the penalty. It's a give to Engstrom and not much to do there. Second and 10 for the Hawks, it's Davis on the straight carry room up the middle. Josh Davis in the open field. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Alta. Josh Davis from 56 yards out. And boy, if you watch the game against Hillcrest last year, 
That looks familiar. After the touchback, four receivers to the top of the screen. Thrown out quickly. Ball is caught. And trying to get around the edge, still on his feet and pushed out of bounds after making the reception was Nate Mahi, the sophomore. Pistol formation on first down. It's a give. It's all Quinn. He will get up to the 40, picking up three yards as Mitch Medina able to make the tackle for the Hawks defensively. Third and seven for the Flyers. 537 left here in the third quarter. Ball thrown deep and no one there. Overthrown the target that time was Nyberg and Hill had a read on it the whole way. It'll bring up a fourth down here for Dixie. Brown to punt here. No, it's not Brown, excuse me. It is Keenan on fourth down. This punt over the head of Davis. He'll let it take a bounce inside the five and they won't save it. The player went into the end zone. This should be a touchback. The officials walking at the one. I thought the player slid into the end zone and he's gonna down him at the one, interesting. After the punt, first down out to on their own one yard line. It's Josh Davis getting out of the end zone. Turns up field and just tripped up at about the six. A good play made there by the corner Faumui again. On second down, I formation. Again, it's Davis looking left. Boy, he almost escaped that tackle as he's brought down for a short gain. Third down and three. Play action. Dana has a man wide open. It's Engstrom, and he couldn't bring it in. That ball may be a bit out in front of him. It will bring up a fourth and short for Alta. 14 apiece, Nyberg in motion. They give it to him. Nowhere to go. Hawks flocking to the ball, including Matahola there to make the tackle. Pistol formation on second down, and it's a give to Ah Quinn. He is down to the 43 yard line, picking up about five. Third down and six. Alta trying to make some noise, cheering on their defense. Nyberg in motion. Boy, just escaping the rush that time and throwing this one into the dirt. Nowhere to go for Jake Barbin. The junior was pursued heavily by Tafisi and Afu. So after the punt, Hawk football on their own 36-yard line, only seven yards on the kick. It's Davis trying to get outside, and he won't get there. It's a good job shutting down the perimeter by Caden Williams, the junior defensive end, the first time we've called his name tonight. Pistol formation on second and 10. After Davis went out, Afu is the back. Dana to throw, does so quickly. That ball nearly intercepted. Boy, read beautifully that time by Jake Staley, the sophomore linebacker. After the offsides, third and five for the Alta Hawks. Dana gonna throw. Looking, that ball caught. Right at the 46 yard line. And it was on a rope to London Rockwood and right on the numbers. Two minutes to play here. In the third, it's Davis. Trying that right side. He's ahead for a pickup of two, maybe three on the carry. On second down, play action. Dana to his left, dumps this off to Afu, and he will not get out of the hands of Malachi Fakahua. Third down and three, I formation again. It's Davis, he has the first down, and he's tripped up at about the 32-yard line. He will pick up eight yards on the carry. Looking over the middle, that ball caught. And boy, a big hit, and we're going to get a flag there as Angstrom made the catch. And he got hit, and that was certainly right in the head area. So after the penalty, first and 10 from the 12, Dana, blitz coming from Dixie. He's thrown to the corner of the end zone, and his man couldn't get there. Neither could Falmua as it falls to the turf harmlessly. I formation on second down, Josh Davis looking right side, that ball's out again. And for the second time tonight, Josh Davis has lost the ball. I thought Dixie was on it, they're saying they are as the officials come in to unpile. Dixie continues to campaign for the ball and they do have it. After the Davis fumble, first and 10, it's a handoff to Aquin looking up the middle. He'll pick up about four yards on the carry. 
As we start the fourth quarter, second down and six, and this ball is loose. Barbin able to jump on it back at the seven yard line, maybe the eight. Third and 12 for the Flyers. Four receivers again to the right of Barbin. Throwing, and that ball was in between a couple guys. You had Nyberg. You also had number three, Mahi. First down, 11 minutes to play. Dana play action. It's a screen set up for Afu. Afu, and he's ahead. That ball came out as well. It's loose near the sideline, and I think Alta is going to jump on it or push it out. One of the two. It was recovered by Chandler Dolphin for the Hawks. So Alta able to retain possession. They will put it where the fumble was recovered. So a net gain of four as they give to Davis. Look at him follow his linemen. Great job by Davis. Following big number 55, the captain, Tima Malia Italua. Second and 10, again, pistol formation. Dana stepping up, trying to go deep, and that's an easy flag. Faumua going to get called here as he was lined up. I think it was with Rockwood. After the penalty, first and 10 for Alta, pistol formation. Dana looking end zone, going there, caught. Touchdown, Alta. Redemption for Zach Engstrom. A 14-yard touchdown pass, and the Hawks have their first lead of the night. They do come with it. Ball thrown out quickly, caught, and a great tackle. Made there by Alta. Not much room to go for Max Brown. The Alta crowd making noise on third down. Barbin tried the hard count, it didn't work. Play clock down to two, and that ball's off. Barbin retreating, and he'll pick it up back at the 22 yard line, hole of the first man there, and a bad snap. Dixie will have to punt. High formation on first down. Davis with the carry, he's through. Uh, and he's just shielding arm tackles. A great job by Josh Davis. A couple flyers had a shot at him, including Fisher. Davis bursts to the 33. First down, Dana looking deep, has a man, and that ball caught. Down to the five yard line, Landon Maxfield. What a route, what a throw by Dana. First and goal for Alta. Off through the back on second and goal. Davis lined up to the bottom of the screen. It's a play action. Dana looking end zone to the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Alta. And it's number Ocho Matahola with the two yard touchdown reception. The Alta Hawks take a 27 to 14 lead. First down for the Flyers on their own 21. Five receiver set. Barbin throws quickly. That ball caught. And it was caught by Max Brown, the senior receiver. Second and five. Barbin, pressure, throws. That ball caught and a first down as he's able to find Nyberg for a pickup of seven yards on the play. Three receivers to the bottom of the screen on first down. Again, a short pass caught. And a pickup of 11 up to the 45 yard line as Topham with the reception. First and 10. And space up the middle to midfield as Barbin able to keep it. He'll pick up five. From midfield. Play clock inside of five seconds left. Barbin, it's a draw all the way, nowhere to go. Ocho it is, Matahola going to bring him down a half yard behind the line of scrimmage. That'll count as a sack for Hola and bring up a fourth down. Fourth down for Barbin. Alta trying to make some noise for their varsity squad. Barbin to throw, and that ball's too tall. Incomplete, and Dixie will turn it over on downs. Alta takes over on the Dixie 49-yard line. I formation for the Hawks. Josh Davis with the carry, has space up the middle. Josh Davis in the open field. Touchdown, Alta High School. 
A 49-yard touchdown run for Josh Davis, and that will put the game on ice. After the touchback, flyer ball on their own 20. Barbin, now he's going to try one deep, and that ball, boy, nearly intercepted as a penalty flag has come on, and I think this is going to go against Alsop. He was in coverage out there against Topham. Tight coverage for the Hawks defensively. Barbin looks to hand off. This is to Nyberg trying to get outside and nowhere to go. Second and nine for the Flyers. Blitz coming right up the middle. Barbin trying to step out of it. He does. Has a man in the flat. That ball caught by Alquinn. He'll pick up the first down as he takes a jump step inside and will get it up to the 29-yard line. First and 10 for Dixie. Ball thrown out. And Alsop there to make the tackle immediately on top of him. Second and seven for Dixie. Three receivers to the bottom of the screen. Pressure coming. And that ball caught by Nyberg on the quick out. Aquin, the back here. They hand it off to Aquin. He's got the first down inside the 40 and down at the 37 yard line, picking up six yards on the carry. On first down, Barbin, the pump fake, and he's going to go down. The ball's loose, and Alta has it. Matahola, Ocho it is, coming around the edge and forcing the sack fumble. The Hawks recover, and they send a note of how they played in this second half. That is Alta Hawk football. After the turnover, first down for the Hawks. It's Josh Davis again across midfield, carrying flyers to the four. First down, it's Davis again. Has Dolphin out in front of him. Davis spins off a man, still on his feet, and brought down at the 30. Josh Davis picking up 14 that time. Eye formation on first down. Afu with the carry, picks up two yards. Second down and nine. Again, it's Afu getting the carry left side. And, oh, we almost got to see that speed. Just tripped up at the 21-yard line. The clock will run. Alta does not have to snap it. The coaches are telling that to Will Dana right now. The Alta Hawks were upset last year in Dixie. They'll return the favor tonight, a 35-14 victory. 35 unanswered points scored by the Alta Hawks to end this one as they defeat Dixie 35-14. And what a game this was as the turnovers in the first half by Alta. They trailed 7 to nothing, But in the second half, gave up that early touchdown. 35 unanswered points. Josh Davis came alive. Will Dana calmed down a little bit. The defense came to play, forcing turnovers. The Alta Hawks, a strong response in the second half in this victory here tonight. A number of players we could go to for our player of the game tonight. We are going to go with Josh Davis once again. He earned it last week. We're going to give it to him again here tonight. Two rushing touchdowns, including a couple from long range that really broke this game open, over 200 yards rushing. Josh Davis, our player of the game here tonight for the Alta Hawks. Well, we want to thank you for joining us on this edition of High School Rewind from Alta High School. The Alta Hawks defeat the Dixie Flyers 35-14. to Again, thank you for joining us. We will see you next time here on High School Rewind.